Hello everyone. <coughs> so we are passing on to the um, next subclass that is a class subclass of actin utility under the class caustic thighs and this is considered to be the advanced groups under the um, fishes class species. Okay. Uh, these are this, these are what we are supposed to learn as per your syllabus. That is the three uh, super hours. So initially, we need to learn the uh, characteristic features of uh, subclass actinotor AG, and then the salient features of the three super orders under that, and the examples mentioned as per your syllabus. Okay. Now, what is actinotor AG? What are the salient features? Uh, the term actinotor AG it comes from two um, Greek terms, actus and terix. Actus meaning ray and terix means uh, fin and hence they are referred as ray finned fishes uh, and hence includes all the ray finned fishes right then uh, externally we can see that uh, they, they have paired fins um, and these are thin broad without any fleshy basal lobes in the previous subclass that is uh, sarcoterigi we saw that uh, whether it is crossoterigi the lactimeria or deploy the lung fishes they had uh, somewhat like a lobed basal uh, portion uh, where the fins were found or at least uh, fins were actually modified to form lobe like structures so here at Tutorigi, they do have fins paired fins which without any basal lobes and these fins are supported by dermal fin rays and that is why they are known as ray finned fishes okay now, um, apart from the fins, I mean, uh, the paired fins, you can see that they, they do have a dorsal fin. This dorsal fin, it may be um, divided. So, there could be, in some cases, two dorsal fins. <coughs> then, regarding the caudal fin, they don't have any epicaudal fin. Okay. So, what is epicaudal fin? Caudal fin, when you use, um, that is a tail fin, the fin around the uh, tail, isn't it? The tail fin, if we see, there, there could be lobes, isn't it? One uh, lobes means it, uh, the tail fin, it could be divided into two uh, halves, right? The upper half or the half on the dorsal side is known as epicaudal lobe, right? And the one on the lower side or the ventral side, we call it as a hypocaudal lobe. But in the case of axonotology, they don't have any, any epicaudal lobe. Okay, the epicaudal lobe is reduced or it is completely absent. What happens is the hypocaudal lobe is actually uh, modified to form the uh, two halves of the caudal fin. Okay, we will be looking at it in, in detail when we study the structure of uh, fins in the later sessions. Right now, um, the scales covering the body it could be either ganoid or it could be reduced to thin horny structures. Or it may be completely absent in some of the uh, fishes. Okay, uh, again, the scale structures we will be learning the different types of scale. I suppose we, you remember uh, fishes could have either cycloid, placoid, ganoid scales, isn't it? So here the scales are ganoid, and even um, it could be reduced horny structures, or it may be completely absent. Scales may be completely absent. All right. Now, uh, regarding gill slits, the gill slits are covered by operculum, so spiracles are completely absent in the case of actinotor AG. The olfactory sacs, they are not connected with the mouth cavity, okay, and in, thus internal nostrils are absent. So, uh, that is a unique, that, that is a feature of the actinotor AG. Actinotor AG has been divided into uh, three super orders, that is chondrosteal. Uh, hollow steel and tail steel. Okay, so we can.